What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. So I'm driving through Northeast Philly, heading back from my uh, exhaust warehouse supplier, and they also had a very, very informative poster about catalytic converters, and I'm going to share uh, what the leading manufacturers of aftermarket catalytic converters have to share with you about cat healthiness, and, then, and I'll bring you back for that. Um, but what I want to discuss is one owner vehicles. Is there a better probability for you to buy a one owner vehicle than a vehicle that has multiple owners? So I'm going to give you my feelings about this. People who buy high dollar vehicles typically don't keep those cars forever and it, and it changes you know you may have a guy that's had a 1957 Chevy from since 1957 and then he's died and passed it on to his family and so on and so forth then you have the guys who buy Corvettes that just sit in their driveways for bragging rights you know they drive it every once in a blue moon and then they sell it and then that guy does the same thing with it and then that guy does the same with it so you may see it change multiple owners that guy may have uh, cared for it with a diaper um, and then the next owner may have not cared for it at all and so on. so it's a crapshoot so I would say typically if you're buying a primo expensive vehicle um, that the average person cannot buy or afford to maintain I would say I think it's okay I, I bought my Z06 Corvette uh, third owner with 26,000 miles on it I mean, the, the outside was a little weather beat because it was outside. It wasn't horrible. The inside wasn't mint condition, but it was it was in pretty good shape. Mechanically, it didn't need anything. Um, and then you have these cars that have three, four owners that that owner didn't care for it, that owner didn't care for it, that owner didn't care for it, that owner didn't care for it. Uh, and then, you, you know, you wind up purchasing a basket case. So somebody, you know, tell me what you guys feel about purchasing a one owner pre-owned vehicle I mean there's a risk in everything today so do you think that buying a one over owner vehicle is better for yourself not better for resale because you know the more owners kind of sometimes turns people away like I had someone ask me how many owners my 2004 Jeep Wrangler had I'm like I guess I'm the third you know it's it's an old it's an old car um, and Jeeps are common so it's not like he was buying, you know, an imported Mercedes from Germany or something like that. It's, it's a Jeep. It's a Jeep Wrangler. Don't take this personal, Jeepsters. Jeeps aren't really anything special. Um, you got a brand new Corvette. You got something special. You got a high-end Audi R8. Got something special. Ferrari, Lamborghini. You, you follow what I'm saying. But somebody, let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching.